Okay, this is the uh, third installment of the water cooling project. Um, I did end up damaging the other cover basically beyond repair. It was so rough that I couldn't see going on with it. It was getting bent and warped. Um, so I did use the spare cover that I had found and we cut the hole in it for the uh, see-through window. I uh, picked up a piece of plexiglass from the hardware store that we're uh, putting in here and some double-sided tape. Uh, in case anybody wants to know, I, I know they sell the acrylic and stuff on the internet and some of the places are pretty expensive. I don't know if you can make this out or not. There, maybe you can see it. It was two dollars and sixty-three cents for this piece at the local hardware store and they, they have them cut right to size or will cut it to whatever size you need. So it's, it's a cheap alternative to ordering some expensive stuff off the internet. All right, now on to the case. Um, we did get some uh, holes drilled in the back for the radiator. Uh, made a mount for the 120 millimeter fan. Let's see if I can turn this around here. Uh, I was planning originally to cut this whole piece out for the radiator, but actually if you can see where my line is here, it would have made the uh, chassis very flimsy. We would have been cutting almost right to the edges on both sides. So we decided to drill it instead to uh, let the air flow through it without losing too much of the uh, strength of the back of the case. Actually my wife came up with a wonderful idea to do this. We uh, used the 80 millimeter mounts and we uh, put a piece of board back there and screwed the, the board right to the metal so that way we could uh, make all of the uh, screw holes into the metal without bending it too much or putting too much pressure on it and bending it. Um, there was a slight problem when it came to the uh, radiator. I actually hadn't taken it out of the, the uh, case yet. And when I did take it out and tried to put it up in there, I was surprised to find out it's got this tab on it. I don't know why they add that on the top. Basically, that gets in the way up here of mounting it. Uh, I might end up having to cut that off or grind it off or something just to get it to fit up in there. And we also did put the top plate back on here just to uh, make it a little more stable to when we did the drilling because it was really flimsy without it. And thanks to the advice of uh, Rick Arter, um, he had mentioned uh, to check on the, the running the cables or cable management. I thought that I had enough space to do it, but actually I looked at it again after he had mentioned that, and it was really good advice that uh, he did tell me to look at it because I realized there's this ridge that runs right across the top here and uh, it's basically right up to where the side cover comes. So if you tried to run a cable over it, you know, to try to run something behind the motherboard, you wouldn't be able to put much there and it would uh, probably be a real hassle trying to get the cover back on. So we cut this notch out here and uh, took it right the ridge right out of that part. So we should have a good half inch or so probably coming uh, down into here so we can run the wires around the front to the motherboard, uh, power wires to the uh, drives. The uh, power supply is going to be up in the top here so I'm going to try to just run them straight down the back keep them as neat and tidy as possible. Um, Basically on the mounts for the radiator, the only problem was that the holes for the uh, fan were not 100% accurate. And when it comes to the ones on the radiator, they're in metal instead of plastic. So they have to be pretty darn precise to get them to screw in there. So we're going to have to probably ream the holes out a little bit and uh, maybe get some flat washers or something behind it so that when we mount it up in there it's uh, 
not going to pull the screws right through. But basically, I think the chassis is uh, about ready to start sanding down uh, so we can get to painting it. Uh, hopefully within the next day or so, I'll get the primer on that. And uh, then we can start on the side covers and the top and stuff and get them sanded down and primered too. But uh, we're moving along, making a little progress, one step forward, two steps back kind of thing, but we're getting somewhere. So uh, well, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next installment where hopefully we'll be a little farther along.